Greetings everyone, today we're going to be playing chimps on a map called Midnight Glacier. Details of this map will be down in the description below. But essentially today what we're going to be trying doing is using Psy, the new skin in update 44 and seeing how far we can go with this particular strategy I have in mind today. Essentially I want an energizer as soon as possible. We're going to get twin guns first for our submarine, otherwise we won't have enough in order to put Psy down, which is going to be a component in this strategy. Probably not the most useful hero in the game, but very ideal for specific scenarios. Stalling, taking out a huge bunch of ceramics in one go. Hopefully we should be able to place Psy down on this round, and we are about to do so. Let's do top right as much as we can. There we go and put you on strong so that you are always targeting the strongest most balloon on the screen if you can target them so Sai. So being able to insta-kill a rainbow right off the bat is pretty powerful. But you can't target purples, leads, ceramics or even Moab class balloons for that factor so we've got that to keep in mind. Put you on Oh, thank you, Sai, for catching that red balloon. I <laughs> uh, didn't want to try and deal with that. We'd ideally go for longer range, but we'll get Airburst Arts first. And there we go. Next, we're going to get longer range, and then we're going to need to think about lead popping potential next. Because at the moment, we can deal with all of the ceramics with just Sai at the moment, but obviously we need something later on, and obviously we'll get Energizer, so that kind of covers that little issue there. So I'm thinking of a top half boomerang over here. We may get a glaive lord in this video, but all I want to do really is to try and get Sai to level 20 by the end of the game. Because Sai is one of those heroes that levels up really slowly, which is not ideal. I mean, you have Corvus. So, so yeah, Corvus is. Uh, his spell now for which a oh, nourishment there we go that enables him to level up when he has mana Adora has blood sacrifice Churchill has nothing and he's been nerfed so I doesn't really have anything really besides from spending money Glaive Ricochet and I need to cover the back of a map with some stuff either with spike towers or something else along those lines but I'm thinking of a discount village first to place over here just so that our upgrades later on will be a tad bit cheaper round 33 just camo balloons sigh go to first temporarily before <laughs> targeting the yellow balloons because of those massive red balloons no thank you but over here though i want a means to be able to try and pop some ceramics early on so we're going to be getting a 130 hopefully we can get that by the end of round 40 but this back end of the track i'm still a little bit concerned with these unupgraded spike batteries better catch out anything that goes along here but with ceramics and all that i'm not confident at the moment honestly let's see round 39 moab shredder bigger stacks if we can there we go bigger stacks you have a moab plushie are you just saying that people should go buy a Moab plushie whenever it is on makeshift? Oh gosh, ceramics, 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 again close to the end of the track. Don't like that, honestly. I should really get myself a Blutonium reactor at some point. Perhaps what we'll do once we get some spiked balls on the field, just so that we have something that does bonus damage against ceramics and fortifies if they, in case they get to the end of the track here. Okay, they're making it to the end of the track. Not good. Advanced Intel, submerged support, leave you unsubmerged for the time being because you're useless in your submerged form. Unless, of course, you're doing two Mega Pops and therefore you want to keep it unsubmerged if it's not the tower that you want to get two Mega Pops with so that it can decamo by camo balloons. Let's see, I'm gonna put you back on submerged and then plutonium reactor. Although it is more effective against male class balloons with the air burst starts upgrade if you do leave it unsubmerged, but it's mainly for clear up and um well if you do have naval abilities then it can reduce those down for a little bit. Let's see. 15% that's all. So use the psychic blast. What's this psychic scream? 
I don't use Psy enough to... It's like a blast, there we go. Oh, it's Psionic Scream. That's the other ability. <laughs> I knew I heard of that before somewhere. So there we go. That's doing its job by clearing up the email class balloons. This is doing its job by decamifying balloons. So, where do I want to go next with all this? Do I want another Moab Shredder? We would go with Mo We're going to go with Moab Glaives, actually, because round 63 comes to mind, honestly. This could be a top class strategy that I'm doing, or it could be just one that you do because you're bored and you want to think of a strategy outside of a box. But I was just thinking, I haven't used Psy in a while in my video, so let's just do that little equation by using Psy today. It's, I just bought back the first boss that was introduced in update 44. We did use Stream State Psy, but this also counts, okay? Sai's at level 9 at the moment, which means at some point we will be able to attack purple balloons with Sai. And then level 14, Moabs, level 16, BFBs, and eventually level 20, DDTs and ZMGs. It would be OP if Sai was able to insta-kill a bad, or insta-kill a boss. Tier, tier 5 elite balloon areas with 1 million percent HP. Don't worry, we got the tower for the job. Um, or the hero for the job. So, you're going to use Psychic Blast so that it stuns you for a little bit. Just so that we have a few more spikes to deploy out, which is really good. Okay, round 61. They're a bit apprehensive here, honestly. So, I'm thinking, perhaps we'll buff these two spike batteries with a 320. I'm not going to go with 420 because of the price in which it gives its uh, buffs out. So, just 320, buff our pineapples over here. Here we go, round 62. Next, uh, well, next round we'll be able to have the Psionic Scream active. Here we go, round 63. Let's use the Psychic Plus. Okay, next round we're going to use the Psionic Scream ability to take them all out. And then I'm hoping that the rest of us will be able to survive, hopefully. Oh, that was actually really close. So the closest wave was actually the first one. Hmm, this is looking a little... Yeah, I thought that was looking a little bit dicey, to be honest. So, I don't really want to put anything else down. That's the thing. I do want to get energized as soon as possible so that Psy can level up as soon as possible. But we'll put another Moab Shredder at the back of the map here because Moabs are still kind of our weakness at the moment. And I'm hoping... Okay, and Psychic Blast as well. Okay, not ideal, but we did what we did. But we're just going to delay the spawn of the Energizer. That's the thing. Ceramics going down no problemo. If we could fit a village here, which I think you just about can. Then we would have gone with MIB. So we just stuck with 420 more glaives. But then again, lead class balloons are a little bit annoying at the beginning of the game. And I'd rather not just get a mortar down just for that. Like, I like how some... Expert level players play expert map chimps, and sometimes I feel like you're using a discount village for the most menial of discounts. Like every little house I know, but it's like you're using a single discount village for, like, let's say, a glue gunner, but for like nothing else as well. So it's like this is the strategy that people come up with in order to get through those kind of scenarios, but I'll never really get trying to be an expert map like even something like dark castle or infernal expert level maps i still look at that and think how do i even begin this scenario how do i go about this without just simply looking at another youtuber strategy and carbon copy and pasting it into my own video because then it could just be blatant as to like what i'm doing i don't feel like i'm improving i'm just trying to copy what somebody else is doing and that's why i am really afraid of touching like well the so very afraid of touching expert level maps when it comes to chimps just because i'm not good enough at the game and i just want to preface that i'm not a very good player at this game i wish people said no or otherwise but here's the thing about me i'm I'm not a person that has a high self-esteem of themselves. So when I overperform on something which I think I didn't think I would be able to do, then I'm happy with myself with that matter. I would rather 
um, not appreciate myself enough and then go above and beyond rather than be on the opposite end of a spectrum and think, oh, I can do that with no trouble whatsoever and then just completely flop. Chom Chom did a series on how to black border every map, but I think the one thing that was a little bit missing is the mindset of going into a game of chimps and think, okay, how can I come up with a strategy that should work with what you have? Because you always want a balance of different kinds of strengths and weaknesses on the field. You don't want just ceramic killers with high pierce and then not having good single target damage because then moaz will be the problem but then at the other end of the spectrum you don't want a lot of single target damage stuff and then not be able to go through from there by the way this is not a definitive guide in order to actually do this and i pressed for one button there <sighs> i was going to press one but i pressed two instead so yeah stuff like that stuff that for black border um pursuers that kind of misclicking can actually cost you an entire like 10 or 20 minutes or so so there goes that round 76 not a problem so yeah that's why i detest the idea of trying expert level maps just because i just know that i cannot do them i look at workshop and think how the hell can i make use of the increased speed of the conveyor belt and actually do anything with it i feel like to me this is impossible not for other people but from my own experience itself i view that map and think this is not something that i can possibly do that is not something that i could ever possibly do i don't care i'm sorry but that is not something that i want to pursue and that is being able to do any map with any strategy without a single game over screen that is not what i'm here for i'm here for the occasional different video and also goofy challenges with like say two tower chimps like once i managed to do a video with Sai and master bomber for two tower chimps and it was like that was difficult enough for me without me going completely overboard and thinking that i'm just a massive failure which again is also part of my low self-esteem of myself like i don't view myself highly enough which i should actually do so we go we'll just use a spike storm in order to clear up that round round 80 what are we gonna do here it's like a blast put you into place the only thing that doesn't stop our bads and bosses but nicely it does stop ddt's temporarily and there they go okay so now we're in free play rounds round 81 and onwards also i saw somebody comment down that um chimps levels why aren't they on improbable prices because improbable is well higher prices and nothing else it's just the prices which are different from there but somebody thought that chimps has improbable prices that's not the case it has hard prices and also hard moab and balloon speed those are the only changes well the one thing i'm very confident in is i believe that anybody can have an opinion on something regardless of your skill level so if you feel like well unless you can do this map under these circumstances with these set of towers then you can have an opinion if not then you don't have an opinion in the community that i heavily detest i believe that regardless of your skill level as long as your intentions with your feedback or with your advice are good i believe it should be free reign depending on what kind of um a comment you are trying to pursue with the conversation at hand here so when you do have people saying that unless you are this skill level then obviously you don't have an opinion that i heavily detest that is something that i am more than confident in by thinking that that is a very despisable very antagonistic incredibly authoritarian way of thinking is it free speech yes the free speech has a price in that kind of way of thinking it is a right but it also something that should not be exploited there we go another spike storm to end off around here 
and there we go so we're very close now to a glaive lord which means we'll have more moab popping potential up ahead here but i'm still very lacking okay so we're at a point now where Psy can pop moab class balloons just for blue ones at the moment probably next round we can then pop bfbs which which will be very good although Psy does take a long time in order to pop moab class balloons but size only really good once they get to level 20 below level 20 thumbs down at level 20 thumbs up like i think that's just how i think we can all agree that that is definitely the part of course with sigh honestly and they're gonna go on through and a seven y i guess our progress will be halted for a little bit for the glaive lord that's another thing why I don't like expert level chimps max. It feels like your finances are always strangled. When people say, oh, you can afford something like super mines on chimps. I'm like, I, <laughs> I'm not at that level where I can do such a thing. So I don't like that as well, honestly. Um, uh, uh, no, that's not going to work. Super mines. Oh, crap. Oh, finance are now depleted because of one specific round. Oh, I hate that, honestly. This is a beautiful map, by the way. So I have my attitude at the moment is kind of... Oh, not even... Oh, I just wasted some spikes on abilities. Well, at least we have the energizer on the field, which will decrease the uh, ability cooldown rate. And I know this strategy of mine doesn't bowl too well but probably much better way so like get yourself a carrier flagship and then all your problems will be solved and hey guess what a new two tower chimps was discovered on update 44 where you can have the carrier flagship with just the mib on the field if you can do that then you have an opinion in the community by the way that also way of thinking sucks okay blow you back using the psionic scream and we just have these left doesn't pop all of the um, blown back balloons with the ability i think it only does that at level 20 where it's guaranteed round 91 yeah so i think we need to pursue a cheaper option when it comes to mob class balloons because honestly i'm not feeling it with um well I feel like Glaive Lord is just going to be out of our price tag. And also for the fact that, well, we're just really struggling. Now. Like, we could use Sionic Scream, honestly, a little bit more. And try and hope out for a Glaive Lord. Because round 100 is sorted. Because there'll be Spike Storms. But it's everything else, really. That's a little bit of a concern right now. Getting through these last couple of rounds. And ZMGs, a huge bulk of ZMGs. Obviously, this top monkey doesn't really serve a purpose now. And uh, get them all down. Uh, it's that last ZMG, last ZMGs. There we go. Once they're popped there, then I can just unleash the uh, Psyonic Scream. Okay. Use you, and thanks for these uh, Spike Storms. DDTs are not a huge huge issue wants to get to the back of yeah i had to upgrade both of these to spiked mines rather than just spiked balls just so that we can get through um super fortified ceramics let's just say or round 87 for that matter okay. spit you all out we need to pop these small class bling a shoonish posture bell remember if you're not able to deal with round 94 in 0.002 seconds then you do not have an opinion right. round 94 uh, they're getting to the very end of the track here uh, i don't like i don't like this i don't like i you i should have used the sonic scream ability later on in the round uh still so far away what can i do here Obviously, there are options, but it feels like, well, I'm not thinking long term. Not too sure if these are going to be appropriate, but let's put down a relentless glue and a mower press just to hold these mower class balloons back just a little bit more. But again, I feel like my time is up when it comes to trying to get a glaive lord in this scenario. Just to be able to have some more means of being able to deal with mower class balloons. Because again, the finance and chimp strangles you 
to where you can't get what you want because you have to spend a lot of money just to get through the round in which you are struggling on. Come on, there we go. That is it. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we should be able to do the rest of this round now. And there we go, round 95. What are we doing with Sai? Level 18, pretty good so far. We should be able to get to level 20 before round 100. Mm, bunch of DTs though, that is an issue. You have these plushies at home. You're referring to the Moabs. DDTs, no thank you. And there goes round 95, sorry, good. Right, let's get a, a rid of these uh, bunch of Moabs and VFPs with the Sonic Scream. I should use it a bit more readily, just because we are under an Energizer, so we don't have to be too shy about using it. But so I'd rather have it ready for when I really need it. Hmm. Let's have a look at our situation here. Yeah, these ZMGs are really scaring at me at me at the moment. I don't like them. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use the Sonic Scream there. So. We could actually get the Glaive Lord. That's the thing. We could actually get it. Yeah, I'm thinking we can get it. Yeah, using the combination of Psychic Blast and Moe Press with Relentless Glue, we should be able to hold these back just a little bit. Yeah, there's a little bit of press there. Good. Hmm. Not doing enough damage to these. That's the thing. No, I will not just spam out abilities, but I just we're going to have to in this scenario. Hopefully the rest of the spike mines back here will be able to deal with the rest here. And that is round sorted, yeah. Round 98, size at level 19. We should be able to get to level 20. But this is the big round here. Okay. Just going to use silent scream here and there. Get rid of some of these as early as possible. Oh my god, look, they're all vibrating. That's the power sign of Scream. It does damage. You just have to wait for a little bit for the fortified ones to get all plopped. Okay, another one of those. Another one of those. Use that. And... Oh my goodness sakes, this was the OGs. Would you get... There we go. Oh, good, good, good. Glaive Lord is now up and active. Excellent. Excellent. So what do you use the rest of our money? Hmm. Well... Spike Storm, uh, preferably another one of, I guess we can't just get another one of those. Okay, that's fine. There we go, level 20. <laughs> you definitely didn't see, oh my god, 73 left to spare. I totally did not calculate that to be the case, but you know what, we will take it. And... I think actually Sai managed to solo the rest of that, because that DDT just went to the spike, so... That is a strategy, but it only really works if you're able to <laughs> if you're able to put everything together more successfully than I was able to do so and go from there. So yeah, probably not the best time to get Glaive Lord on round 98. Definitely earlier on, but I really wanted to put down the Energizer to be able to level Psy up more quickly. And nowadays, actually, you have two forms of reducing the hero's uh, cooldowns on their abilities both with the Energizer, but also with the Final Harmonic. So that works really well if you're going for Ultra Late Game and you have a Zeely. Thank you all so much for watching everyone. This has been Midnight Glacier. It's a beautiful map, by the way. So cold and um, kind of very ethereal in the way because of all the glows. It's definitely an area where there is a little bit of sunlight that is hitting the ice, but definitely not enough to like melt it and all that jazz anyways not important information out of the way thank you all so much for watching let me know what if you thought of this video down in the comment sections below and uh, yeah hope you all have a lovely day where you are and see you all in the next video take care of yourselves and um goodbye